It's now been two weeks since we picked up Lord Cannon the Vizsla and uh, we've put together a bit of a video to show you what's been going on. But before the video we just thought we'd have a chat together and, and tell you how we felt that things have been going so far. Um, how do you think the first two weeks have been going? Uh, so night times have been difficult. Um, we have a sort of typical puppy biting issue. Um, Vizslas seem to sound like foxes when they're screaming be it daytime or at night and there's certainly been a lot of issue with um, being crated and, um, and and not being with us so that's been a bit of a problem especially at night yeah absolutely at night definitely so biting and sleep i think there's been there's definitely been periods where i thought you know what have we done to be completely honest um, there's times I've got in the shower and just cried and thought, oh my God, is this ever going to end? Because um, he's been so difficult at night. I think it's been, well, every night now for two weeks, we've been awake most of the night with him. Um, he hates being in the crate. He hates being away from us. And he will literally scream um, if you're away from him for more than 10 seconds. Uh, so that's definitely been difficult, hasn't it? Yep. Um, and then... About a week in, he started biting us, like properly biting. He's only playing, but it does actually hurt. And we sort of researched it and a lot of people said, don't say no. Um, a few people said to say, ouch, that doesn't work either. Um, and then just ignore them and walk away, which is, it's easy to do um, to walk away, but then he sort of attached to our ankles and he would sort of follow us and continue biting. Um, so we've sort of managed that bit by getting a playpen and when he's been biting, um, like really hard, we put him in the playpen for a few minutes um, for him to calm down. And we've realised that when he is biting and he's going a bit crazy, it's because he's tired. And we've we sort of now we're putting a limit on if he's awake for an hour, that's it. He needs to have a sleep because it seems like an hour is kind of his maximum, um, and then he's exhausted, isn't he? So we've really tried to um, you know put him to sleep after an hour, and and that's definitely helped got him in bed and uh, we put it in the playpen in the day and after about five minutes he's, he settles and then goes to sleep so that's definitely made things a lot easier. I don't yeah I don't think it helps if you're with Covid and everyone's at home and, and you're constantly you know if he's in the room you're constantly doing something with him or you know stimulating his brain to not sleep. He has mm -hmm. calmed down. He, he's he? definitely calmed down absolutely I think he was just definitely overstimulated, exhausted and then he would be frustrated and then bite. So, you know, that's definitely helped making him, you know, have a sleep sort of every hour. He's a lot calmer now. Um, but obviously, he's still keeping us awake at night. I think the first week it was literally every hour, wasn't it? And we, we slept next to him um, on the sofa for the first night. And then we moved him into our utility room because that's going to be his, his bedroom. And I think we slept on the floor with him for a week. And then in the end, we kind of thought, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. You know, we haven't been in our bed for a week. Mm -hmm. both and of us uh, at the same yeah, both at the same time. So um, we decided that was it, you know, when he went in his crate, we let him cry and, and go up and get into bed. And it's definitely got better, you know, whereas before it was every hour, and now he's sort of going to sleep at sort of 10, 11, waking up about 2, and then 4, and then again at sort of 6, 7. Yeah, between six. So and yeah, it's it's definitely. It's just better. we could have done that a week earlier. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think you know definitely some people said, oh, you shouldn't put him in the crate. You know, it's unkind. But if he wasn't in the crate, then he would be eating the walls and the doors. So you know there has to be sort of some limit. There's so much advice out there, but I guess you have to do what works for you. Um, you know, a lot of things that we've googled and the answers, you know, that we've tried just haven't worked, have they, at all? We're only two weeks in, so hopefully um, the next video we make things have progressed a lot more and, um, and the beat, we'll everything will, yeah, we'll have slept and things will be a bit more positive. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is what's been going on for the last few weeks and please like and subscribe.
Good boy. Yes. Sit. Good boy. 